I am a mom first and foremost. Uh, I am a corporate uh, person. I, I do corporate training. I and uh, I'm a wife, I'm a dancer, I'm a daughter, so these are my roles as a woman. I've been doing dance on and off. Um, when I was about 13, my mother sent me for dance classes. At the beginning, I dreaded going for dance classes. It was, you know, I was forced to go. Uh, then I, the interest sparked. There was an interest and I, I started liking dancing, especially when I was given the chance to dance on stage, you know, like most teenagers, uh, how they would feel. I felt excited and like uh, enjoyed the glamour being on stage. Indian classical dance is very intricate in the sense that uh, every movement has got a meaning. Uh, Bharata, it stands for Bhava Ragatala, that means facial expression, the melody, your beat of your le le uh, legs. So it all has to be in coordination. So it's a wonderful dance uh, where it, uh, you, you learn discipline, uh, you learn self-expression, you learn about posture. Posture is very important if you're a dancer. You can't slouch. You have to sit still or stand still all the time. And when you walk, you walk gracefully. So it, it, it adds, I think it adds value to your life if you're a dancer. Any form of dance, uh, especially so for Parvanatyam. It's not a myth. What I think is we are moving towards women's rights. You know, uh, take for instance um, um, maternity leave for um, for um, for women nowadays. Um, in European countries, Western countries, they are having up to three months, four months. Yes, but in Malaysia, it's only two months. Um, we are fighting for more on that. So we are working towards that. I think I think the biggest challenge being a working person is juggling your career and your family. Uh, and for some who may not have children, juggling career with your with your with your with your spouse. Um, I have seen many many cases where there are more divorces nowadays. I think it's true when someone says one out of four marriage in Malaysia ends in a divorce. You know, I can I can yeah agree with that. That is the biggest challenge the women are facing now. You know, apart from that, other challenges would be for women juggling work and. Children, I know I, I do work with big corporations and I know that most of the time they work till 7 pm, 8 pm, you know, and also sometimes 9 pm. And they have very little time with their children. They only have like about one hour, half an hour a day with their ch children. And I think this is not enough. What do you do when you go back? Do you cook? Do you take care of the children? Do you supervise their homework? What do you do? You, your time is so limited, and here you are at, at work. It's so demanding, your supervisor wants so much from you. So it is really tough. I, I really, uh, my heart goes out to all those ladies up there who, who, who are struggling day in, day out with this, you know. Uh, so I think that is the biggest challenge. Yeah. My role model would be, actually there are two, but you wanted a woman, so it would be my mother. Uh, because, mainly because uh, she, she teaches me a lot of things, even now. You know, even now when I go back, she always imparts some of her wisdom to me and she says, oh, you have to be. When I tell her I've got this problem with my daughter or with this, you know, problem with my husband, she will say, please be patient. You have to, you know, understand them, you know, um, don't make rash decisions. So there's always wisdom coming from her, advice coming from her. She herself is a very simple person. I learn about simplicity and humility from her and also from my father. They're both very down-to-earth people. Um, we, they, they instill uh, a lot of values in us. They emphasize the importance of respecting elders. They emphasize a lot of being humble. Even when you're rich, even when you're successful, they always stress you have to be humble. And always remember where you come from. And uh, uh, yeah, basically being nice to people. Yeah, being, not being selfish, being generous to people. Um, being patient. So I learned a lot of things from my parents. I mean, if I need role models, they are my role models. Yeah, both my parents actually. Yeah.